Makeup Show. And now, how about a nice round of applause for the host of today's show, Alex Ross! Thank you for making it to the horror makeup show, or the air-conditioned building, as we call it. And uh, I, uh, I'm wondering, are you in the mood for some blood and some guts? Yeah. Yes. That's what they hate to us, Jim. I'm telling you. Or you're in the right place, because my friend Mark James is here. He's a makeup artist and a creature creator. You're in for a good treat. So please help me welcome to the stage my good friend, Mr. Mark James! <laughs> Little louder, he's in the green room. Mark James! I just need some help. I need some help. Help. Help me, ma'am. Help me. Help me. Come on, get him off your butt and help me. <laughs> Come on. I need mouth to mouth. <laughs> Come on, baby, like the French do. <laughs> Where are you going? Some nice lady that no one will miss. Right here. Let's <laughs> get <laughs> the lady in blue then, yeah, absolutely. Ladies and gentlemen, give her a round of applause. That's love, you think? That is love. That's tough love, but it's love. <laughs> How you doing? You succumb to the peer pressure. I love it. Come right on up. There you go. Thank you for helping us out. There you go. You can stand right here above the trap door. Perfect. What is your name? Nice to meet you, Mary Kay. My mom uses some of your products, and I, I want you to know she does not look like a beast anymore. So thank you to you and your moisturizers. I'm obviously stalling until the... Oh, I want to introduce you. I'm Alex. That's Mark. And your name is? Mary Kay. Nice to make you acquainted. Oh, no, no, Mary Kay! Oh, I could do! Oh, it's all right. I have another one. I got another one here. Uh, where are you from, Mary Kay? Oh, from Chicago. Beautiful, Mary Kay from Chicago. Oh, yeah, I'm just out of the refrigerator over here. Yeah! Oh! <laughs> I can't! 
Please don't do that. What are you doing? Well, you're freaking me out. What are you doing? You're trying to scare the nice lady. I'm sorry, Mary. I can't believe that was a stupid, cheap trick. I can't believe it was so professional. It'll never happen again. What you can do for me right now is be my lovely assistant. So if you'll uh, roll up your left sleeve, sure. right? um, folks, in the horror films, we use a lot of severed limbs and body parts. You probably wonder where do they go. Well, I'm going to show you right now. No, no, no. Give me the arm. I'm going to have the arm. I trust you. You're going to do this. I'll the arm. Give me the arm. Mary Kay. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Don't be afraid. I'm not going to hurt you with this big knife. I'm going to use this little one right here. <laughs> so first things first, I need for you to put your arm over the drip pan, just like that. Very good. If you open and close your hand like so. Good. We'll get the blood flowing. Uh, so I'm going to take that knife, Mary Kay, and I'm going to catch it. Yeah. I'm not kidding. It's going to hurt like a mother. <laughs> no, it's not going to hurt. I'm not really going to cut into you. But we're going to make them think that I'm cutting into you, right? Because I want you to scream for me while we do the gag. That's what they do in the horror films, right? They're always blurring about something. Uh, tell you what, let's have a little rehearsal. Okay, since we're at Universal Studios and everything. Let me count to three. You give us a blood curdling scream. Oh, you ready? One, two, three. <laughs> Solid. Oh, nice. <laughs> You're a lucky man, George. <laughs> Here we go. I like this one. The count of three, a big screen. One, two, three. Ooh. Sorry. <laughs> There's kids. You want me to cut the kids? Wow. <laughs> After you give them a safety tip. Oh, safety tip. Oh, yes, Wait, uh, please relax. That's right. Absolutely right. Uh, kids, I want you to know that all the blades we use are dull. Right? They're not sharp. We never use a real knife on anybody. Some, sometimes the, the knives are rubber or plastic, or sometimes they're dull and plastic, like Paris Hilton. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> uh, yes, all the gags are done by trained professionals. So please, like she says, don't you try this at home, young man. Try it at your friend's house. No. Can we get it closed up? I would love to see this on a close up. Fantastic. Okay, we're going to put your arm back on the drip pan. So here we go. Fantastic. On the count of three, a big blood curling screen. Fun. Yeah, just relax. It's plastic. Here we go. One, two, three, scream! Yeah! Oh, I'm screaming, baby! Yeah! Slip that down there, pull that back. Oh, that's cool. There it is. Huh? Cool, huh? There's a bulb filled with fake blood on the back side for some fake blood, of course. And uh, it's perfectly safe, though. She's completely unharmed. Ladies and gentlemen, Mary Kay. Thank you very much. We'll miss you. We're going to come. He pulls a knife. That's the Chicago way. Is that the Sean Connery yeah, impression? That was very good. Thank you very much. Dude, you go through a lot of fake blood. We do. In fact, on a movie set, we will go through buckets of blood. Ooh, I like the cut here. Yeah. Oh, thank you so much. If you saw Albert Hitchcock's Psycho or George Romero's Night of the Living Dead, those great movies are in black and white. And you may not know this, they use chocolate syrup to simulate the blood in those movies. Red blood looks great in black and white. Who knew? But for a color film, you got to have red blood, don't you? Sure you do. So uh, you can buy this blood. You can make it. I'm a little old-fashioned. I prefer to squeeze mine fresh. <laughs> Where did you get the heart? Uh, my ex-wife. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, she wasn't using it. <laughs> it's dripping, it's a mess. Where do, you get, uh, where, where do you get the fake blood? Well, that comes from a theatrical supply house, pretty much like this heart does. But I, I tell you what, that stuff's pretty expensive from the supply house, so I, I make, make my own. You make your yeah, own blood. blood. You want to share the recipe? I don't know. You guys want to know how to make fake blood? Sure. Cool. <laughs> Start out with corn syrup, mix in creamy peanut butter. Okay, wait. Then, of course, your corn syrup has to be mixed with food coloring. You gotta mix it. Mixing is very important. <laughs> of course, you gotta be careful not to get it on you, too, because this stuff will stain your clothes, you know. Ark. Hi, remember me? <laughs> yeah, I was the guy with the steak in my heart. I just went a little mouth to mouth. Wait, I'll come halfway. No, I'll go back. Wait, I'll come halfway. I'm coming all the way, baby. <laughs> Sit in the front row. <laughs> oh my. Alright, now I get carried away. 
Yeah, I apologize here. Why don't you draw yourself off?